Hello, this is Reza from Radacad and I'm going today to talk about what are scenarios that the age calculation in Power BI using Power Query might not work exactly as you expect it to work uh, and how you can fix it. Here we have some dates that their age calculation is not working correctly and we are going to fix it. Let's see how it works. In another video, I explained a method using Power Query that you can use to calculate the age very simply. And that method used um, the age function in Power Query, which you can go to there using transform data. Uh, the age function then uh, that calculates duration. From the duration, you calculate the total years and uh, then round it down. Uh, have a look at the other uh, video to see how it is working. Very simple. Uh, now to check it and show you what are scenarios that it might not work correctly, I brought some sample data here. So you can see that it is working, for example, for this row, it is 30 years. And I put the current date. This is the date. Uh, um, datetime.local now. This is the current date, so you can compare it and see is it calculating the age correctly or not. So this is calculating it correctly. This is correct. This is correct because it's 30 years. But this is not because this would be like the day after. T tomorrow this would be 30 years or this is not 30 years yet or this is not yet. So these three are wrong. But even those, uh, like after that, these values are correct. Even if the value is somewhere in... Uh, 29 of February, uh, it is still correct, right? But it all depends on what is your current date. So for your current date, whenever you look at this video, this might be totally different, right? Now, the thing is that why this is not correct always, uh, the reason is that the way that we use the total years is in Power Query, total years is the duration in days divided by 365 uh which is normally a year. But uh, if the year is leap year, this is not correct. So that it, that means that if from that specific date until now, until the current date, uh, there are some leap years, there will be a lag and that lag would cause some result here that, for example, after a day, two days, three days, five days, even 10 days, depends on like how, um, how long is the... Um, the difference between these, how the big the duration is and how many leap years you have, you might have some incorrect results here, right? So how you can get this fixed? Uh, let me show you a way that you can get it fixed. I've written a custom function um, and you can get this custom function in my blog address uh, down uh, below in the description. Go and have a look at that. Uh, this is that uh, same blog, so it has some explanation exactly what I'm mentioning to you, plus the custom function script. So what I'm going to do is to copy this script, control C. Now here I'm going to create a new query, a new blank query. And then I go to view tab under advanced editor you tab under advanced editor, whatever that is written here, I just delete that and paste this script, right? That would create this as a function for me. And uh, you see it is also showing it is a fx, that means it's a function. Uh, query1 is the name of the function, which is not a good name. So I'm going to rename it to become age in years, right? You can have a space as well. That's absolutely fine to have a space in function names. Uh, so that's my function. Uh, you can also invoke it if you want as a test to see how it is working. But what I'm going to do is to invoke it for the values in that table, because usually you want to run it for a table, for a column and get the result of that. So what I'm going to do is in this table, I'm going to add column tab, invoke custom function. And that function should be under my function query now. You see the function query age in years. If you don't see the function query function query here, that means you had a problem in creating your function or your function name is not age in years, right? So I create that and make sure this input birth date uh, parameter is coming from the column. This means it is a column. It is a column and it is coming from the birth date column. So it is absolutely fine. Uh, the name of that column doesn't really matter. It's up to you what you want to call it. 
and then click OK. Right? This calculates the age in years. Now I just make it a number as well. And you can see uh, that it is working perfectly fine. So for this scenario, for example, uh, all of those scenarios that the other function, the other method was working, that is still working. And for those scenarios that the uh, previous method was not working, this still works perfectly fine. Like, for example, if birth date is 19 of January 1990 and today is 18 of January 2020, this is still 29 years old. Tomorrow it would be 30 years old. Right. Uh, for 20, for 25, these are all still 29 years old and you can see it is working for leap year, any other scenario. So this works perfectly fine for any scenarios that you might want to consider. Now there are some important things to consider for this implementation. First, uh, you might say why should you do that in Power Query rather than in DAX, there are different reasons. Um, Power Query is good for pre-calculations, make things faster when it comes to Power BI, everything is ready for you. Um, DAX is good for dynamic calculations. If you want this to be calculated dynamically, better to be done in DAX using measures. If you want this to be pre-calculated, better to be done in Power Query using this. Uh, the other consideration is that the age calculation that I explained in my other video, that doesn't mean that that is wrong, that is correct, but it's not precisely correct. Uh, and the reason is that that is divided by 365, right? So it, it isn't supposed to give you precise number of years like an age. This method that I showed you is working precisely. Uh, like that. If you find this method doesn't work for a specific birth date uh, or a date, just send me uh, down in the comments below. I'll fix the function and put it up here again. Uh, and that's it. Here you got a function that gives you the precise exact um, age in years, even if there's a leap year in the period using Power Query for Power BI. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.